Hello, this is Solomon High School, right? Yes, what brings you here? Um, the agents who dropped me off told me to find Sir Bruce. Is he in there? Um, Sir Bruce? That's not someone you can just meet, but the agents. What's your name? Um, Elena. Elena Johns. Sir, this is Ben here. Yes, Ben. What's the matter? A girl came to see you. She claims that I just sent her here. And her name? Elena Jones. Ah, oh, yes, Alina Jones. Let her in. I've been waiting for you to have a seat. So, tell me about yourself. Oh, well, yeah. Um, my name is Alina Jones, and the agents who told my parents let me in one. So, you're Sir Bruce, right? Yes, yes, you can say that. Let me ask you something. How much do you know about this school? I read a Bible a lot, but that was just an introductory book for the youth. I remember you wrote it. Oh, well, then you must have a better understanding of our institution than expected. Scared of new circumstances? No, sir. I'm sure you'll fit right in. <laughs> Solomon is where your parents, or you could say former guardians, spent the youth. It's where they grew up, it's where they placed their allegiance to. And eventually got married. Alina, you were meant to be one of us. By signing this, you will eventually officially become one of us. Your Bible was my only source of the Lord all these years. And joining the community? It has been always my dream. You'll see. I'm way much better than my parents are. I'll sign this paper. Smart girl. You won't regret this, Alina. You'll learn a lot here. I'm not talking about just typical textbook knowledge, but the true knowledge beyond that. Like what? Faith, salvation. Reading about things is easy, but you'll find that actually implementing those concepts is not. Hello? Yes, this is he. You still haven't captured it? Unbelievable. Don't you idiots know about the consequences? Go and capture it immediately. It cannot escape the sacred grounds. But wait here a moment, dear. Just a few minor problems I have to so. What are you doing? Don't come any closer. Oh. Is there something going on that I should be aware of? No, I just think I misunderstood something. Please don't tell anyone that I was here. Uh, do you know how to get out of these school grounds? Well, I followed the stairs and came in through that door. Thank you. Are you sure it went this way? Yes, sir. How could you just let it watch you run away? I wasn't just watching it. It was too fast, and... And you think that's a reasonable excuse? This incident is utterly unacceptable. Excuse me, sir? Are you talking about... Oh, Jones. You were here the whole time, right? Um, did you see anyone there? Well, a strange girl ran in here um, a few minutes ago. She went out through that door. Why are you still standing around? Go catch it now! I yes, sir. You want to know what's going on, don't you? Yeah, what just happened? Um, I believe your parents <laughs> told you about the Lord. Of course, the Lord is the greatest God of the heavens that control every part of the things. And the one and only way for us to reach the salvation is if we complete the missions, like all the missions like that God bestows upon us. And do you happen to be familiar with the specific contents of each missions? Well, I do know that the warriors have to carry out the Lord's will, but you know, not the mm, It differs each time. Sometimes uh, we bring new believers of our religion here, and sometimes we get rid of the problems of within the institution. 
Your parents all happen to be one of our best warriors. Wait, what? My parents? They carried out missions? Unbelievable. I thought that warriors are supposed to be the highest rank of believers. Well, your parents used to be one of the most loyal warriors of the Lord. They ran a business and financially partners. But as you know, in the end, their unfaithfulness led to their ruin. I knew it. They didn't offer anything to the Lord and expected and sold everything for them. <sighs> Some kinds of warriors they were. A truly pitiful incident of here. It's a shame you haven't seen them in their glory days. Anyhow, the pinnacle of our missions is to perform the annual rite. Have you heard of it? Annual rite? I mean, that wasn't mentioned in the book. Every year, we hold the right to thank the God of His grace and look forward to His mercy. At the end of the rite, we have a rightful sacrifice, a present to the Lord. Just like the phrase, the Lord's most faithful warriors shall bring glory to His grace. That's faithful. You sound like an atheist, dear. Offering a gift to the Lord isn't something wrong. If you don't do it, we suffer punishment from the heavens. Oh. Your parents have trained you well. Now, now that you are officially one of us, you'll get to learn about more about the system. <laughs> Given your faithful background, if you fully understand the Lord's will and successfully complete the annual rite, not only will you get money, faith, power, but also you may even become my successor, second in power to the Lord. I'll try my best. You'll see. Three years have passed since that fateful day. I trained, I read, and I gave my everything. The Lord became my only concern, and the belief became my life. Until finally, one day, Sir Bruce called me to his office. Sir, you wanted to see me. Yes, I wanted to talk to you about something. Different. Yeah, please continue. So, I've been managing Solomon for over 10 years. And there are a lot of people who are having trouble eliminating the non-believers. And I was thinking of taking some people away and setting up another institution. That's great! I felt like Solomon was getting quite crowded as well. And I need someone to entrust Solomon on my behalf. Oh, so you want me to do that? It's been three years since you came here, dear. But it's a relatively short time. However, you have demonstrated surprising faith. Uh, for example, you have brought in new believers here, played a leading role in capturing the sacrifices, and... And completed a mission that's on those cards. Yes. I think that qualifies you as my successor. I need someone youthful who can mix in with the young warriors and lead Solomon as the whip of new ideas. Oh, you know, it might be hard to do it all by yourself right now, so I have chosen two other people to help you out. Um, who? Daniel Walker and Jake Scott. Do you happen to be familiar with them? I mean, yeah, we've been on a few missions together. Walker is quite reliable, but Scott, you know, he's quite clumsy. I know, well, and sometimes you're right. However, uh, but you see, there are times when those people can be really important for your life. And I think that time is approaching very soon for you. Elena, the annual rite is coming up. Before I entrust Solomon to you, you must prove your worth as a leader by completing it successfully. Okay, I really want to let you, sir. You better not. Let's move, shall we? You have a lot of work to do. Hey, Daniel. Oh, hey, Jake. Did Alina call you here too? Yeah. So she said she had something really important to say. 
Oh, no, she is. I've got a report. Can't you just say uh, hello before we start? Well, morning, everyone. So, you all remember the file I gave you last week about the sacrifice that ran away three years ago? And you're going to say that it's our worst mistake again? Oh. For the millionth time! You're talking about a report, right? What's it about? Well, there are reports that it's been spotted around here these days. Take a look. Some witness statements and some pictures as well. Is she a cop? She's wearing a police shirt. That's what they say. Um, be sure you bring it here whenever you see it. Wait, so we have to catch a cop? But isn't that like what cops do? So we have to like out cop the cop or something? That's your job to find out. Oh, and make sure it never senses anything about this machine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wait, Alina, today's transfer is to a day, right? When's she coming? Well, it'll be here in a few minutes. Is it going to be the sacrifice again? What's the point of asking? You really don't know? I mean, no, it's just... Maybe it could join us. Is it just weird to kill it? I mean, maybe we'd like to believe in the Lord. Oh, come on, Jane. What do you want us to do here? Never mind. Here's the Lord's will, it's the top priority. Great. I'm sure you guys all know the procedures, right? I, I, I know! It's just hide and seek and then murder at the end. Well, not murder, but yes. Listen, this mission is important to me. I need to show my faith in the Lord as a new leader of Solomon. And I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna let any one of you to mess it up, okay? Hello? May I come in? Yeah, sure, sure. Are you the transfer student? Yeah. Welcome, welcome. Thanks. Um, are there only three of you in this class? Actually, it doesn't really matter. How wonderful would it be to have this whole place just to yourselves? Oh, oh, gosh, look at my manners. I should introduce myself first, right? <laughs> Hi, I'm Grace Williams, and it's a pleasure to meet you guys. I was so excited that I didn't, couldn't even sleep at a night. You guys look so lovely. Uh, am I to talk a tip? No. Hello, nice to meet you. <clears throat> um, do you like playing games? Games? Of course I love games. What do you mean by games though? Board games? Smartphone games? Actually, I'm good at all of them. People tell me to become a pro gamer or something. Just imagine. Pro gamer Grace Williams. But I like art and social service better. Um, where were we again? Well, tonight, at school. We all really want to be close friends with the race. There is a school tradition of playing hide and seek with the newcomer. Can we join us? But Daniel, it's... Oh. Ooh, hide and seek. That sounds fun. Uh, when do we meet? At midnight in this classroom. At midnight? That's quite creepy. But sure, I'll see you there.